Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna learn about watershed algorithm. Uh, in this, what this function does, it performs a marker-based image segmentation using the watershed algorithm. Why we are calling marker-based? Because uh, this function needs as uh, needs some references to segment the objects inside the image. So we call these references as markers in this function. These markers will be belonging to the objects we want to segment. So we need to give these references as input, otherwise it cannot detect automatically the segments in the image. So this function basically taking your input image, which is colorized image, three channel image, and it needs to be 8 bit. And the markers uh, similar to the remap function in the previous videos. So it's taking 32 bit single channel image, uh, taking input. Also, if you noticed, uh, it's also giving the output in the same markers. So these markers uh, uh, you will give input, but it will change at the end as output. Uh, other things are it, it needs to be the same size as like the input image in this one. So the columns and the rows number should be equal to each other. Uh, here some explanation about these markers. Uh, all of the objects you want to define, you want to give a reference, need to be different numbers, uh, like in the distance transform, if you watch that video again, uh, all of the objects uh, will be represented with different number, different index numbers, okay. Uh, differently from my previous videos, in this video I want to direct use the OpenCV example to, to explain how it works because if I try to explain it by uh, more simply, I mean uh, more fundamentally if I want to explain it will be more detailed so it will not be easy to understand for all of us. So I chose uh, to explain with this one. Before passing that maybe I need to show this. This is uh, uh, this is a snap from Gary Bretsky book, Gary Bretsky OpenCV book. So it's also saying more specific the watershed algorithm allows a user or another algorithm to mark parts of an object or background that are known to be part of the objects or background. Actually what it's doing is just giving some references. These white lines uh, he wrote in here uh, representing uh, this is for example in here there is a there is a line, there is a marker, so it's basically saying, uh, by the way, these things can, we can say, uh, okay, some references, and here basically it says uh, there is a possible object in here, which is orange, so at the end, the watershed marking that objects accordingly. And let's see my example, in here uh, I have a flower, and I want to... Uh, segment this flower from the background what i need to do basically let's draw the flower and also let's draw the little background and see the result okay as you can see it's uh, easily separate the background from the flower so in uh, at the end you get the segmented flower and segmented background uh, what I did, just giving some uh, hint to the function. I'm saying this is this line belong to the objects, and this line belong to the background. So it's just at the end, it's just separating both of them. And this line, you can see, we call this line as uh, mountains, and inside these things, valley. That's why the name of the function also watershed. Is mostly uh, it's just a rep, uh, it's just a calling of ge ge geographic uh, ge geographic uh, vocabulary we can say, and it's just uh, doing this segmentation. Let's try one more image. That image, let's say this one. Uh, in here also there is two. There is two freeze and let's define it like this. One is here, and one is here. I'm drawing, but it's not seen because of white. This is another background, and you can see it's segmenting the freeze. But here, little uh, bed, you can see 
but it's okay you cannot expect every image giving the best results yeah basically this function is like this you can easily get this code by just uh, typing watershed.cpp to the google and you can get it uh, the only function this part and what I'm doing drawing the counters with my uh, mouse then it just this is the, the markers I'm drawing is this one and this is the input image and after that I'm just making some painting and done uh, okay the disadvantage of this function you need to give some references as I said how you will do this automatically at then uh, this is actually up to you maybe some distance transform you can use or other things just need to give some hint to the function then it's doing the rest of the task yeah I think I'm done for this video and see you in the next videos